Hello, everyone. So excited to be with you today. And my name is Madeline Conover. I'm the Director of Admissions for a brand new Catholic research institution and university, the Catholic Institute of Technology. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you can see a little presentation I put together for Catholic Tech. Um, but because we're brand new, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions, and I'll try to cover all of the information in this 10-minute segment. But of course, you'll also have my contact information for further questions. So uh, first, I would like to clarify a few exciting things about Catholic Tech. Number one, we are, we are an American university located and operated abroad. So we, our campus is located in Castel Gandolfo, Italy. That's about a 30 minute, 35 minute drive from outside Rome. We're in a beautiful picturesque town uh, that is where the pa summer papal palace residency is located as well as the Vatican observatory. And we are also tied to New England and that our founders are all based out of Boston. Uh, essentially it was a, a few really uh, brilliant and, and creative minds that decided and looked around at the, the technical education sphere and noticed that there was a real gap in true authentic Catholic education. And so a lot of our founders are coming from MIT and Stanford who basically see a need in the higher education space for students who want rigorous, practical, technical STEM education coupled with engineering, philosophy, theology instruction. So kind of the best of both worlds that a liberal arts education, that foundation that you would get from a liberal arts education, coupled with that technical side of uh, a STEM, STEM school. So to begin, our first inaugural class is opening this fall. We're extremely excited about um, our small course cohort that we have and, and all that they'll do to shape campus. So it's a, it's a really unique and exciting time to start an institution. But what we're doing isn't necessarily entirely new. We're trying to restore the church's position when it comes to science, research, and the church's participation in key areas of, of the STEM world so that the, the church is not reactive to these things, but rather proactive and offering a voice of not just what can we do scientifically or technologically, but what should we do with human flourishing and human dignity at the center of everything. So that's a little bit about Catholic tech in a very quick flyby, um, but essentially we're devoted to uh, educating the next wave of saints, scientists, and scholars. That's kind of our, our quick tagline. To begin, we're building a university to scale. So we're starting with five majors. Um, you've got a pre-med track, if you will, and then a pre-engineering track, if you will. And like many of these liberal arts colleges within the Newman Guide, we have a pre or, or a, a science core. So we have five majors to begin, biology, biomedical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, and computer science, and then mechanical engineering. All students will have exposure to all five of these majors before specializing, but you can have an idea of what you're interested in studying and specify that when you apply. There's a huge research component to Catholic Tech. That's kind of, I would say, our main distinguishing feature. So we, our Dean of Academics has come most recently from Stanford, but he's also the uh, Dean and Head of the Industry, Industry Commercialization Outreach. And so we want to partner with research organizations and institutions, both public and private, as well as on the industry side, companies, tech ventures, startups, so that our students are in the world to shape the world. Um, we don't want them to be of the world, but we do want them to be in the world so that they can affect greater change and promote the Catholic faith and, the, and truth in, in whatever professional or vocational sphere they end up in. So a little bit more about features of our program. All of our students will have a senior capstone course as well as summer internships that are a, a built-in part of the process and part of their education. And there's a huge focus on ethics. So biology, for example, we have an integrated curriculum so that in the semester you're taking biology, you'll also be taking a bioethics course. Um, we want it to be interdisciplinary in nature so that our theology and philosophy faculty are actively talking with our STEM faculty and making sure that all of our foundational courses are also very current when it comes to 
what is going on in, in the emerging technology space or in the medical world or science world so that students are prepared to offer real solutions and real, real arguments of, of ethical responses to any particular scientific um, topic, piece of innovation, technology, experimentation, whatever it may be. So um, a little bit more about Catholic Tech. So we are um, in the process or application process to become a Newman accepted um, Newman Guide School as well. We've set up our uh, student life, student handbook to be in accordance with the Newman Guide model because we know they, they are the gold standard of how to do authentic Catholic education well. And, and that's, that's our hope as well. We actually have a really unique fellowship program called the Cardinal Newman Fellowship which is a second accelerated bachelor's for graduates, recent graduates of these Newman Guide Colleges. So I know Colby is for, for high school students, but if you have older siblings that are about to graduate from any Newman Guide school and they wanna break into the STEM space and they're interested in an educational experience with significant scholarship abroad, definitely send them my way. Um, but the student life that we envision will have faith formation at the center, as well as other student activities with extracurricular sports, uh, volunteerism, music, uh, all at the heart of what we do. And if you're a student that is proactive in starting clubs or uh, being a leader, you're the kind of student that we're looking for as we build a new institution. A few details about this coming year, if, you're any, if there are any seniors in the room, our application portal is closing April 15th, but our application is also free, easy to navigate. We accept the ACT, SAT, and CLT, um, and we also highly encourage an, an admissions interview. Uh, that's because we're so small, our student to faculty ratio is projected to be around six to one. We want to really have it be a partnership with our students. Um, we want the investment in our students to feel tenfold in terms of what they're giving us. We want to give back to them in terms of mentorship, career advising, even just friendship from, from the academic perspe perspective and uh, you know, pursuit of, of knowledge together. So we want our admissions process to reflect that, that personal touch that you'll expect on campus. Um, so this is a, a lovely shot of Castel Gandolfo and I'll actually stop sharing really quick to plug our website. Um, but first I will send a few links. This is a link to our campus gallery. We have a lovely, beautiful villa. It's four years, so it's none of the rush of a study abroad experience and all of the time to take full advantage of life in Italy. Your classes will be in English, except for your Italian courses. And you'll be able to take advantage of living so close to the heart of the church and fully participating in all of the things that that, that has to offer, whether that be conferences, speakers, um, the Jubilee year that we're about to have um, as a church. and. And I, I am so thrilled for students to be able to have this experience because the intention is really so much more, so much larger and greater than just starting a school. Our hope is really to reunite and defend the harmony of faith, science, and reason. That's the mission of Catholic Tech. And we need excited, energetic, curious, smart students that are interested in an education that's bigger than just themselves, who have see that there's a lot to worry about in the world, but, but know that there's also great cause for hope because there are people that are leaving their, you know, uh, so-called elite universities in the um, secular sphere to come and teach at this, this brand new institution, untested, um, that really has a, a high ambition of, of transforming the higher education space, but with the purpose of, of transforming the world and and that starts at, at the soul level and, and at an ethical and theological approach to education. So we're really excited about Catholic Tech and um, we know that it's, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Um, so for any families in the room, definitely think about what it would look like to come and visit. Uh, and please contact myself or the general admissions email to talk about potentially a trip to Italy to see our campus. We can try to make it as streamlined as, and easy as possible. For you, um, or if you have a school trip coming up and you'd like to include Catholic Tech on your journey, definitely feel free to reach out in that capacity as well. Um, I'm trying to think of other details that would be important. We definitely have scholarship opportunities available for students, and um, 
my highest recommendation is to make sure that you apply early. We have an early action deadline of November 1st, and that's going to put you in a position to be the most eligible for merit scholarship. So thank you very much for your time. And I um, am praying for you all in your, your college discernment and search process. And don't be a stranger to Catholic Tech. We'd love to hear from you and get to know you. Thanks so much. God bless.